Vancouver is where the Rangers start a three-game Western Canada road trip, the same as last year, and the Rangers would love the same results. They smoked the Canucks to start that trip, then went on to Edmonton, where they shut out the Oilers, led by Henrik Lundqvist, great goaltending. In Calgary, they finished off one of their best road trips ever with a 5-2 win. The same trip, a year later, starts in Vancouver tonight. We are live in Vancouver, British Columbia for New York Rangers hockey. The Rangers start a three-game road trip in Vancouver against the Canucks. New York Rangers hockey on MSG is presented by Chase. Hello, everyone. Welcome to New York Rangers Hockey. Sam Rose along with Joe Micheletti and John Giannone. And a year ago, the Rangers started the same road trip right here in Vancouver, and it turned out to be a great trip, Joe. Well, then they had that Henrik Lundqvist in goal. He's beaten Vancouver four consecutive games, and uh, two of those games have been shut out. That's how well he's played against them. And, Sam, the Rangers come in uh, on a high. They're coming off, I think, probably their best overall game of the season, uh, the defeat against Ottawa, where they played well defensively. They took that lead in the third period and shut Ottawa down, didn't give them anything, and they're a good scoring team. So, uh, so the Rangers come in here, and they've got a lot of confidence, yeah. and this is a Vancouver team that they're banged up a little bit. They've got some very young players playing in key positions, and I think they're right for the Rangers to get off to a good start. The Rangers got some of that confidence with a great all-around team effort, contributions from all their lines, and the defense very strong, as Joe mentioned, led by the captain, Ryan McDonough, who had a dominant performance. Boy, you just sit and watch him uh, play that game, and, and this is a player, you don't see this very often, where you have a player that's dominant on the ice with and without the puck and that's the type of game that McDonough played. We know his great skating ability. He's skating as well now as he's uh, skated all season long and he, he just, you know, he defended well. He got involved in the offense with, uh, with three points and when he's in position, you see him now the way he uses his stick where it looks like the opposition is going to get a scoring chance but he can close the gap quickly and this was the pass he made uh, to uh, Broussard on the goal where he got it, felt the pressure right away and then moved it and then down the other end when he gets the He's shooting it. He's getting shots through. He's getting them on net. He's been an important part of their power play, which scored a couple of power play goals. So to watch Ryan McDonough play that game the way he did, he was uh, at, at all-star form. Going into that game, the Rangers had been struggling to score. So Elaine Vigneault shook things up with line changes up and down the lineup. The line changes worked. They were very pleased with the changes, very pleased with the contributions of all four lines, led by Derek Broussard, who really broke out with a couple of goals, and the line of Broussard, Zuccarello, and Hayes yeah. was a solid one. You know, you lose Derek Stepan, and you can't replace him. I mean, that's the type of minutes and the type of game he plays. Power play, regular shift, killing penalties. He's such a smart player. So for Derek Broussard, I think he just felt that, hey, listen, with, with, uh, with Stepan out of the lineup, I've got to step up here and do a little bit more than what I normally do. And we know he's a very unselfish player when he's got the puck and looks to pass often. And But now, and Nansen Carter talked about this in the pregame show, you can just see now he's starting to shoot the puck a little bit more. That was a nice deflection, but this shot right here was an absolute thing of beauty just inside uh, the post on the short side to beat Anderson on the play. So Broussard is really stepping up his game. He's much better on the faceoffs this year than he has been in the past. And I think he's just looking at this and saying, you know, it's time for me to step up and be one of the leaders on this team, and he has been. And I think also the change that everyone was looking at and wondering, how's this going to work out? Is Oscar Lindbergh centering the top line with Chris Kreider on the left, Rick Nash on the right? Well, they've got many chances, came close to scoring some big goals, and the coaches liked it, and Lindbergh's performance continues to impress. Yeah, he really is, because he's one of these players that is adept at playing when he's got the puck and without the puck he's a real uh, trusting forward that Elaine Vigneault is not afraid to put him out in any type of situation. He's playing tonight against one of his boyhood idols. That's Henrik Sedin. He said he used to study the way Sedin passes the puck. So he's going to be out on the ice against him. They played together in the 2012 World Championships. And the thing about Lindbergh, you watch him in all these situations. He goes to the net. 
He's a very good passer, not afraid to shoot when he gets the opportunity. And again, by making that move, Elaine Vigneault then takes Nash, and they're trying to get Kreider going. So they take a line that can be a threat, and then you've got Broussard on that other line. And then uh, even, even some of those other lines have given him uh, some good offensive chances that last game. So there, there seems to be nice balance. You mentioned Henrik Sedin. Henrik Sedin is twin brother Daniel. They're the keys to the Vancouver Canucks. They are red hot right now over the last 14 games. Henrik has 18 points. Daniel has 20 points. We'll focus on the Sedin twins and the Canucks when we come back in just a moment. We are back at Rogers Arena in Vancouver, moments away from the start of tonight's game between the Rangers and the Vancouver Canucks. Canucks, a team that has struggled on home ice, just four wins on home ice, one win in their last six. That was over Buffalo Monday night. They missed Brandon Sutter. They're only 3-7-3 oh, yeah. since he went out with an injury. Yeah, he's, he's a solid NHL player, is Brandon Sutter, and he had an abdominal uh, a situation that required, required surgery, so he's out probably another at least four to six weeks. And so what they've had to do is they've had to take two 19-year-old centermen and put them at number two and number three in their lineup. And that's a tall order when you expect these kids that probably should be getting some time in the American Hockey League to have to put them in your lineup and rely on them on a game-by-game -game basis. And the other thing, Sam, with that record, they've had a terrible travel schedule. Come home for a couple and go back on the road. And so, uh, you know, young kids in the lineup, that puts an awful lot of pressure on your goaltending and on your top two players, those twins that are still pretty good. Yeah, that's the key. The key is the Sedin twins. They were drafted in 1999, numbers two and three overall in the draft. They are still elite players yeah. in the National Hockey League. Our scouting report brought to you by your local tri-state area Land Rover retailers features Daniel and Henrik. Daniel right now is fifth in the league in scoring and over the last 14 games, he has been awesome. Eight goals, 12 assists. Yeah, Daniel Daniel's the winger, Henrik is the center, Henrik is more the passer, Daniel is the finisher, he's the shooter, he gets a chance, he's going to take the shot. You know, you talk to people about these two and they still can't figure out how they always know where the other one is on the ice without even looking. They just find each other. It's absolutely magical to watch these two players play and they continue, even at this age, both 35 years of age and playing at, at this type of high level where you know they know going into games that teams are going to try and focus on them and they're still they've been very difficult to stop and slow down i mean it's a beautiful thing to watch all these two players they're stronger than what they look like they're very very unselfish players and uh, has spent their entire careers here and they're the two players if you can stop them you've got a good chance of winning yeah what the canucks have been looking for is scoring from other places they got it monday night right. in the game against buffalo when rodin verbato who's always been a street goal scorer right. had a hat trick had a hat trick that gives him nine goals on the season now so he's back on his pace for mid-20 which is generally where uh, where he has, where he uh, normally is even though last year he scored 31 but you're right, and we mentioned those young kids. They've got to ha rely on some of these older players that have been around on these different lines to take some of the pressure off the Sedins uh, to contribute scoring. And uh, they haven't gotten a lot of that except this last game. Where uh, And the thing about Verbata that they were really happy with is he scored these goals in different ways. He went to the net, got that one on a deflection. This one, he puts himself in the slice. He's always been able to shoot the puck very well. And so he scored these, the, these three goals in different ways and they were really impressed with the way he went you know and really got to those dirty areas to uh, to fight hard to score those goals and of course they can be physical so watch out for some physical play by some former Rangers remember Brandon Prust he did this for the Rangers as well he's with the Canucks and Derek Dorsett is here as well always plays a physical game it's a return to Vancouver for Elaine Vigneault we are back in Vancouver getting set for the Rangers and the Vancouver Canucks. Post captioning, as always, brought to you by the New York Lottery. And our Audi goaltending matchup features Henrik Lundqvist, who's won his last four starts against the Vancouver Canucks, including his last three here in Vancouver. 14 wins on the season. There is Ryan Miller, who has struggled after a real good start to the season. Yeah, first 11 games was real good. Save percentage uh, down around uh, 
for his goals against, down around nine, or four, uh, pardon me, two, which was outstanding. But since then, his goals against in the last 12 games up around three. And here we go. Rangers open up with Oscar Lindbergh, Chris Kreider and Rick Nash, Mark Stahl, and Dan Boyle. And we're seeing that early matchup of Henrik Sedin and Oscar Lindbergh. Henrik, number 33, long shot by Alex Edler, save, hard shot by Edler. In deep around the boards, Henrik Sedin lets it go through to Edler at the point. Lindbergh blocks his pass. Henrik Sedin puts it in front, Stahl broke it up. So first shift, Lindbergh out against his idol. Yes. Daniel Sedin is number 22, Henrik number 33. And the takeaway by the Rangers, 22, Dan Boyle. Rick Nash carries it out of the zone as the Vancouver Canucks got the edge in play in that first shift. Nice play by Kevin Hayes behind the net. Rossard, Hayes, and Zuccarello on for the Rangers. The outlet for one-time Ranger Chris Higgins, number 20. Smithtown, Long Island boy. That pass by McCann was taken away by Zuccarello. Hayes with a puck. Back for it. And Ham Hughes hit by Zuccarello. Able to move it to Higgins. Ham Hughes, Zuccarello on him, almost took it away. Now Hayes knocks it away. Number 55 is Alex Viega. For Vancouver, here's Viega with a puck. McDonough and Girardi, the Rangers defense. Yandel fires up the boards, a hard pass intended for Jesper Foss. Ben Hutton, number 27, the defenseman for Vancouver. Hutton's another one of those players, Sam. Not a lot of experience, no. has some college hockey. He played at the University of Maine, so he's not 19, but he doesn't have much experience. Big kid, though, 6'3", 210. Puck around the boards. Another big kid, Dylan McElrath, plays it ahead. Miller sends it across. Save. Good pass for Jesper Faust. Ryan Miller with a save. The outlet for Alex Burrows. Sent back into the Vancouver zone. Rangers' last couple of shifts have done a good job. Boyle back to the puck. Starting lineups coming in at the top of your screen brought to you by Infinity Luxury Cars that deliver inspired performance. That long outlet pass sent in deep by Adam Cracknell. Cracknell who started his NHL career with the Blues. That puck underneath Henrik Lundqvist. He looked behind him. It almost went into the net. Looked like it hit a, a, a stick on the attempted pass from behind the net. Boy, oh boy, Lundqvist was able to get his, his pads together. Here's the four check. And this one just goes in. It goes, it looked like it went off the stick of maybe Stoll in front. And Lundqvist looks up and uh, let's see, watch the deflection. Oh, there it is. Wasn't Where looking, is but felt it. <laughs> and got those legs together and somehow he was able to keep out. that puck from going into the net. One person went to the bench briefly. Now back in. Oscar Lindbergh on the faceoff. Against Adam Cracknell. Hustling after the puck is Kreider in the race for it with Edler. Icing was waved off. Good hustle by Kreider. Lindbergh looking the, for the puck against Chris Tanev, number eight, and takes it away. Good play. Long shot from the point. Deflects to the corner. That was McElrath with the shot. Here's Kreider to Lindbergh. Since the opening shift, the Rangers have controlled the puck. And the play, McElrath to Yandel. Back to McElrath. He shoots just wide. Lindbergh with a rebound. Plays it in front for Kreider, and it was stopped. Yandel gets to the puck. Now Nash. He fires to blocked in front. Lindbergh gets to it. Pass in front is blocked by Tanev. 
And lifted out by Cracko. That's a strong shift. Yeah, McElrath getting ready to score his first goal, Sam. There's a shot by Yandel. Miller with a save, and he holds on. This is game number 999 for that man, Elaine Vigneault. What a coaching career yeah. he's had. Well, over half of those games were coached right here in Vancouver for the Canucks. Brought them to a Stanley Cup final, won a couple of President's trophies. And everyone you talk to, whether it's cab drivers, people at the hotels, people on the street, people in restaurants, the first thing they say is, boy, you've got a good coach there yeah. in Reno. A good coach and a good person. He left his mark on the people here. Yes, for sure. Lundquist goes out to play it. Yannick Hansen stops it. And Girardi with a play in front. Broussard to Hayes. Hayes stopped by Hamhus. Broussard comes in. Broussard looks. Forced back by Viega. Pass through to McDonough. Long shot tip wide. Hayes pass was blocked away. Hustling to the puck and keeping it in. Zuccarello knocked away with the blocker by Miller. And the puck to the line. Kept in by Girardi. Zuccarello fell down. But able to keep the puck deep. Hayes. Now this is a matchup I think we'll see a lot of. Broussard against the Sedin twins. Girardi to Zuccarello. At least that's a matchup the Rangers yeah. coaches talked about. Well, they, they would rather have a veteran center out there against Henrik Sedin uh, than they would a young rookie, even though we've talked about Lindbergh. He's, he's done a good job, yes. and he's been a trustworthy defensive player. Another good play in the neutral zone by Dan Boyle, and Foss put it in the Vancouver zone. Miller, JT Miller for the Rangers for Dominic Moore. The line is Moore, Miller, and Foss. There's J.T. Miller's shot blocked in front. Puck still loose, cleared aside. Mark Stahl reaches out, keeps it in. Dan Boyle's pass for Jesper Faust. Now it's Miller. Oh, the Rangers have had some strong yeah. shifts in the Vancouver zone. Sam, every line, and you were, you were right on. That first shift belonged to Vancouver, first shift of the game. But since that, it's been all Rangers. Rabada dumps it in, steered away by Lundquist to stall up the boards and out of the zone. Then Hutton sends it back in. A little over six minutes gone by in the first. No score in the game. Dan Boyle with the pass ahead. Off the stick of Tanner Glass, brought the other way. Alex Burrows, saved by Lundquist for the blocker. Burrows again, his pass tipped away. And the Rangers able to come out for the fourth line. Tanner Glass. Victor Stolberg, Jared Stoll, off of Stoll and covered by Ryan Miller. Six and a half minutes gone by. First period in Vancouver. Rangers with a good start, but there's no score. Here's Ryan Miller in goal for Vancouver with a bird's eye view of him. Is John Giannone in the corner. John. Yeah, it's been a great view of what's been all Rangers down in this zone so far. Guys, what they're doing is they're winning all the battles along the boards. You often hear coaches talk about the importance of that. And what I've seen so far, everything's getting to the net. Rangers are throwing the puck at Ryan Miller for all angles, perhaps because of his eight wins in the first 23 games. Maybe try to take advantage of a carom early. We'll talk to JT Miller about that and other things during the first intermission. We've got full house Sit back in New York. Bill Pito, Ron Duguay, and Anson Carter. So send your thoughts to them on Twitter. Use the hashtag NYR on MSG, guys. Thanks, John. Check in with John throughout the game. Wait for to see him between periods as well. Yeah, we talked a little bit about JT Miller. Miller's looking to try and get more shots in this game from the slot. Yandel hard pass to Broussard. He fires just wide. Comes back up to Yandel. In deep to Broussard. Out to Yandel. Winds up. Big drive. Missed the net wide. Comes out to McElrath, down to Zuccarello. Out to Yandel with room. He tries to pass. He had room to shoot, but decided to pass across instead. Yandel recovers. Leads Kevin Hayes. Rangers changing. Hayes drops to Zuccarello. Carries it deep. Left the puck behind as he was checked by Brandon Cross. Alex Burrows lifts it out. And Mark Stahl takes over. Cracknell on him. Trust got a piece of it. Lindbergh takes over. Ball to Lindbergh. Oh, nice play. Lindbergh slides it in front. Save Miller. Rebound cleared away. Ryder was stopped 
by Ryan Miller, but what a play Oscar Lindbergh made. Well, he started it in the neutral zone with a deft little play to get the puck past the defenseman, then picked it up and made another play. And that was Derek Dorsett that's maybe saved a goal for Vancouver just outside the crease. Takeaway by Adam Crackdell. Crackdell moves in against Stahl. Stahl stopped him. And after Derek Dorsett. Lines it around the boards. Kreider goes to get it. 8.15 gone by in the first. Stahl. Shoots it toward the net. Steered away by Ryan Miller. Dan Boyle takes it back. Boyle to Dominic Moore. J.T. Miller out to Ryan McDonough. Blocked by Hutton, number 27. Damn, the Rangers are getting to every loose puck. And in Vancouver, once they do get it, they're having trouble making any plays. So even though the, the shots are 5-3 favoring the Rangers, it's been a much more dominating performance by the Rangers here in the first period. And Oscar Lindbergh, boy, he doesn't look nervous playing against his idol. He'll make a play in the neutral zone, get it off the boards, back to himself, and then that little pass Whoa. in front, and then that was Dorsett that came back. What a pass. Beautiful little pass. Kreider had that chance, and Dorsett came back before Nash can put it in, and then as we've spoken often about Oscar Lindbergh, there's a chance to hit somebody. He's not afraid. He's one of the better hitters on the Rangers. Good start to the game for Oscar Lindbergh. Chris Higgins against Girardi. Girardi takes it away and got it to JT Miller. Rangers come out. Jesper Fost sends it around the boards. Ryan Miller to Chris Tanev. Higgins pass tipped away from Jared McCann. McCann one of those young players 19 years old. One of those young players has to play a lot with Brandon Sutter out. In deep Jared Stoll. Off the stick to Victor Stahlberg. Tanner Glass gets to it. Glass played two years here in Vancouver. Quick shot saved by Miller as he robbed Stahlberg. He did not look to be in great position either, Miller. He looked like he was actually turned a little bit, but was able to throw out his left arm and make the save. Tanner Glass was offside on the play. So there's a, you know, now the fourth line gets a chance as well. So the Rangers keep... You know, they just keep on moving, you know, changing lines, and each line is getting the puck in deep. Here's the play again. Stoll behind the net. Mm. And there he finds Stahlberg, and Miller is able to fight that off. And that's what the coach telling us before the game, Joe, was the, uh, the fact that they got balanced scoring chances throughout the lineup. Zuccarello across for Hayes. Diego able to clear it out. And Boyle got it out of the zone. That's an offside if it was touched by Alex Burrows. Rangers take over. Spinning out of the zone was Kevin Hayes. Pass blocked. Blocked by Bo Horvat, number 53. Another young centerman. He's just a second-year man. Yeah, he's still 19. He's got a little bit more physical prowess to his game at a young age, but... Was out of the zone when McElrath took the shot and offside his whistle against the Rangers. 9.37 to go. First period in Vancouver. There's no score. DraftKings brings us our DraftKings spotlight. The spotlight on Henrik Lundqvist. Last four games against the Vancouver Canucks. Won them all. Goals against average of .5. 985 save percentage and two shutouts. Three of those wins coming here in Vancouver. Play daily fantasy hockey on DraftKings.com, the official daily fantasy partner of the New York Rangers. Lindbergh against Cracknell on the faceoff. Lindbergh, Nash, and Kreider, the Rangers line. Rangers six shots on goal. Vancouver just three. McDonough drives it on goal. Stopped by Ryan Miller. Off the stick of Alex Edler, taken back by Lindbergh. Nash with a shot, a save by Miller with a blocker. Cracknell lifts it out of the zone. Yandel able to take it. Ryder sends it back to Dan Girardi. Off the glass to Lindbergh, who lifts it deep. Ryder after it against Alex Edler. Chris Tanev. 
played across to Brandon Prost down the boards. Prost against Girardi. Taken back by Dominic Moore. He battles Yannick Hansen. Vancouver getting their top line on. JT Miller able to send it to Jesper Faust. Now Moore. Moore against Hutton. And deep for JT Miller. Miller against Bat Barkowski, one time Boston Bruin. Stall shot to flex over the top. Barkowski's tied up. Good job of pinning. Vancouver's top line, the Sedin twins in the defensive zone here. Up the boards, Yannick Hansen able to bat it across to Henrik Sedin. Now Daniel, and offside whistle against Vancouver. Friday on MSG, the Rangers take on the Edmonton Oilers in Edmonton, and coverage begins at 8 p.m. with a special tribute to Glenn Sather. He'll be honored in Edmonton for his great work there. They'll raise a banner to the rafters, a special night you won't want to miss. It begins at 8 p.m. At 9, it's Rangers game night, 9.30. Rangers and the Edmonton Oilers hope you'll join us Friday night on MSG. That's going to be great, isn't it, Sam? Yes. He will be the ninth member of the Oilers to have, uh, have a banner raised to the roof. And so, so deserving. Fired toward the net by Stahlberg. He turns and fires save by Miller. Puck is still loose. Played by Dan Hamhuis for Vancouver. And he's slowed down by Tanner Glasslow. Shot blocked in front by Hamhuis. Stahlberg. Taken back by McKenna. By McCann, excuse me. And McElrath back for it. Dave Bright Tanev to Edler. Edler fires ahead, tipped into the Rangers zone. It's an icing on Vancouver. Second year, Willie Desjardins is the head coach. They had 90, 101 points last season, Joe. That's why, you know what? It, it, it made the playoffs. A lot of people didn't think they were going to make the playoffs, but he did. He's a good coach, but there's been a turnover in, in personnel. You know, this is a franchise that's rebuilding, but they're trying not to look like they're rebuilding. Right. They're trying to stay competitive, but uh, we've talked about it. There are a lot of young kids in this lineup, so. That's fired on goal by Dan Boyle, saved by Ryan Miller, and he holds it. Yeah, Jim Benning is the general manager. He was hired, of course, last year. And, uh, you know, and their goal is to, you know, start getting some depth in the organization, yeah. start drafting bringing these kids along and uh, they think that you know with these kids that are in the lineup that they're going to be in the league for a long time but they want to continue to uh, to build on that the problem is for the Sedins you know they're 35 uh. you know, they're starting to run out of uh, run out of time <laughs> two great players go on show you look back at their drafts they have not drafted well down through the years since the Sedin draft and that was 1999 yeah, hasn't been much that's uh, that have come up through the ranks and, be, and become top players Kreider tried to clear it. It was stopped. Kreider gets it out to Nash. Nash against Edler. Nash stays with it. Good pass to Lindbergh. Saved by Miller. Tell you what, Ryan Miller's had a good first period. Yeah. You know, John was talking from his perch down there about the Rangers throwing everything at the net, and that's that's true, but they are getting quality chances. Not everything has gotten through. There have been some blocks, but They've been able to find ways to get that puck from the top of the circles in towards the net. Brandon Pruss trying to break through. He does, and he shot it wide. Rangers have 12 shots on goal. Vancouver only three. And Hutton back for the puck. On him is Moore and Fost. And a good play by J.T. Miller. Again, the Rangers are just quicker to the puck. Back the other way, Derek Dorsett. Dorsett off the board to himself. Breaks to the net. Saved by Lindquist. Oh, great move by Derek Dorsett. Back the other way. Keith Yandel. Pass behind Moore to Miller. Offside Rangers. 5.44 to go in the first period. The former Ranger, Derek Dorsett, with a great chance, was stopped by Henrik Lundqvist. The Canucks' best opportunity of this first period was by that man right there, Derek Dorsett. Look at this little pass here from Pruss. Through the legs in the backhand. Now Dorsett will throw it off the boards and just skate around McElrath and get the puck and Lundquist a good save and then 
Faust, a good defensive job to clear the puck away. Well, that's a real good play hey. by fourth liner Derek Dorsett. Derek Dorsett told us uh, his young son is getting big, and he and his wife are expecting their second child. That shot deflected wide. Congratulations to them. Good guy, Derek yes, Dorsett. Yes, he is. That puck batted down by Hutton is whistled down. That play stops. Download MSG Go, the only app that lets you watch MSG Network's coverage of live Knicks games anywhere. Download now at the App Store or Google Play. MSG Go is currently available to MSG Network subscribers of participating television providers. Tanner Glassy had two good seasons here in Vancouver. One of those seasons the Canucks went to the Stanley Cup final. Marty pressured by Sven Berchi. Fans react and uh, as Burroughs went down. Back the other way. Broussard shot off the glove of Miller. Played by Yandel. Now Zuccarello turns. Put it in front. It was deflected away by Tata. Kevin Hayes down low. Good check by Edler on Zuccarello. Gandal sets up the shot for McElrath and missed. That's cleared away by Tanev as Zuccarello was in position to get a rebound. That puck held at the post by Ryan Miller for a faceoff. Now Sam McElrath had three or four, maybe even more than that, shots uh, in this first period. Couple have gone wide. But great puck movement again by the Rangers. Oh, they just move the puck around. They lose the puck there, Zuccarello. But look how quickly Broussard is on it. And then there's that shot that might have gotten deflected on the way in from McElrath. But he is not afraid to let that shot go right off the pass. Getting closer and closer. He is. Tonight he's going to get one. That's my prediction. All tonight. right. McDonough is trying to play it. And Rick Sedin to Daniel. It's by him, and Rick Nash is there. Stopped by Hansen, who took a hit from Lindbergh. That's deflected away by McDonough. Played by Kreider. And Han Hughes taken away by Lindbergh. That's played by Oscar Lindbergh. Han Hughes lets Viega play it. Four minutes to go in the first period. Rangers 14 shots, Canucks 5. No score in the game. Diego, the outlet to Brandon Cross. McElrath bumped there by Cracknell. Dominic Moore back for Dylan McElrath. Outlet to J.T. Miller. Miller moves in against Hutton. They bump. Moore trying to take it away. Try it loose. And it deflects up into the netting and play stops with 327 to go here in the first. Now Dominic Moore saw his minutes go up last game. Up over 16 minutes, moving up to that third line center ice position. So we got a few more important minutes, a little bit more offensive zone minutes. And back at center ice from left wing, even though left wing, he says, is not a problem for him. Adjusting over there, but his natural position is center. And anytime you can get increased minutes. He's one of those guys, good. Joe. You know, he just wants to play. Yeah. Wing, center, doesn't matter. Chris Tanev for Vancouver. Tipped out of the zone by Chris Higgins. Boyle for Hayes. And Boyle and Yandel on the ice together. Pass broken up by Broussard. And the puck stopped by Boyle, deflects out of the zone. Boyle recovers. The Sard had it taken away by Alex Edler. Picked up by McCann. A save, a header by Lundquist. The loose puck in front cleared out by Yandel. And that puck goes all the way down for an icing on the Rangers with 2.43 to go here in the first period. Edler made a good play in the neutral zone that led to this last opportunity for the Canucks. 
And from our Buick RoboCam, we'll see Henrik Lundqvist in that all-familiar header for a save. Rising shot, no problem. The RoboCam replay brought to you by the new Buick. Buick, your kind of luxury. 2.43 to go in the first. He normally does a better job with the rebound, though, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's right. Normally he deflects it to the corner. That one came right back to the slot. Lifts it out by Yandel. Hayes trying to play it. Viega takes over. Canucks have won only one game in their last six. They were 0 3 and 2 going into that Buffalo game. And they beat the Sabres here in Vancouver 5 2 Monday night. Henrik Sedin, the back pass, nobody there. Penalty upcoming on the Rangers. That'll be McDonough. One hand on the stick trying to defend against Henrik Sedin. First. And McDonough will get uh, will get penalized. First penalty of the game. Canucks have the most power play chances of any team in the league. Henrik Sedin waiting, finds an opening to Daniel. Back pass to Hansen, moves down the slot, and Girardi and Stahlberg got a piece of him. Let's see. It's a holding call. They're just just right. giving the one I believe even though Vancouver wanted a second yeah. one Daniel Sedin is arguing now so Ryan McDonough gets the original and Daniel Sedin's going wait a second how about the other one they move the puck around here you'll see there's the penalty there is McDonough one hand on the stick that's all it takes and then right at the end you'll see this play in the middle Stalberg got the stick in there, then he let it go. Everybody wanted the penalty, but just the one against McDonough. So power play, Vancouver. And you see the numbers. Canucks the most chances, Rangers the fewest. Rangers penalty killing is sixth in the league. Moore, Fast, Stall, and Girardi on for the Rangers. With a minute 40 to go in this first period. No score in the game. Girardi clears all the way down. Ben Hutton with the puck. Hutton brings it across. The Rangers are there. Lundquist stops it. Stall up ahead for Stahlberg, and he clears. Chris Tanev back for it. Jared Stoll and Victor Stolberg go off. Dominic Moore and Jesper Fast come on. Almost lost by Hutton. Now it's Alex, excuse me, Henrik Sedin. Cast Alex Burrows under a minute to go in the period. Vadim Verbata. Across comes Henrik Sedin. Gets it to Daniel. His shot deflected. Lundquist was bumped. By, by Burroughs Burrows. coming through the yeah. crease and no call on the play. Here's Dominic Moore in deep backhander saved by Ryan Miller. Back the other way. Daniel Sedin finds Henrik. His pass blocked by McElrath. Here's Edler. 30 seconds to go in the period. Sets up Henrik Sedin. Verbata shoots saved by Lundquist. He's got it. Good puck movement by the Canucks. Now Lundquist appealing to the referee why there was no call on the Burroughs bump in the crease. I think even on that last shot, I think Burroughs gave him a little whack with the stick afterwards. Burroughs came right through the crease and he was right into the blue paint. Made contact with Lundquist oh, there. Oh, yeah. And there was no call. The referee was watching it. Didn't think a call was warranted. Graham Skilleter, the referee that Lundquist appealed to. Ian Walsh, the other referee. 20 seconds to go in the period. Henrik Sedin. Pass by Burroughs was blocked. Jarek Stoll's got it. Rangers, one of five teams in the NHL that does not have a shorthanded goal this season. Nash was bumped. Henrik, the outlet to Daniel. Now Alex Edler. And that's it for the period. The power play has 10 seconds remaining. It'll carry over into the second period. For the most part, the Rangers had the edge in play. Vancouver getting the late power play chance. Yeah, I thought the difference in the game was the goaltending, and that was 
Miller down on the other end. He was the much busier of the two goaltenders. He had to come up with some real quality saves. I thought the Rangers skated well. They controlled the puck. They got their four check going. It was pretty easy for them coming out of their own zone. A real well played first period by the Rangers. Rangers had 15 shots, Vancouver seven. Coming up, the Delta Intermission Report. John Giannone rejoins us. His special guest is JT Miller. Bill Pito has the Audi MSG 150 back in the MSG studios. Anson Carter and Ron Duguay will have highlights and analysis all coming up on the Delta Intermission Report. Rangers come to Vancouver to start a three-game road trip in Western Canada. Good first period for the Rangers, but they couldn't score. End of one, Rangers and Canucks scoreless. Back in Vancouver, getting set for the second period. Rangers and Vancouver Canucks. New York Rangers hockey on MSG is presented by Chase. Closed captioning, as always, brought to you by the New York Lottery. Get out and play. And before we start the second period, let's check out our Cadillac trivia question of the night. Henrik and Daniel Sedin are one of three sets of Swedish-born twins to be drafted and play in the NHL. Who are the other two? Wow, Swedish-born twins to be drafted and play in the NHL. I got one. Where are the Sutters from? <laughs> they are not, they're not from Sweden. <laughs> Red Deer, Alberta. Ah, there <laughs> Brian McDonough in the penalty box. Ten seconds to go in his holding penalty. He could make them honorary Swedes if you want. <laughs> I think they turn it down. <laughs> Chipped out. Good play by Jesper Foss. That'll do it for the McDonough penalty. Team's back at full strength. Canucks had only one shot on goal on that power play. Rangers had 13 different players get shots on goal yeah. in the first period. Well, it just goes to show that, you know, the rolling the four lines. Uh, Elaine Vigneault being happy with the production after making the line changes last game against Ottawa. And all, all four lines, Sam, played the same. When the play was there at the blue line, you know, they were able to carry the puck in. When it wasn't there, they chip it in. They go get it. They put pressure on. They won the battles for the loose pucks. And statistically, it was uh, all Rangers. They attempted 27 shots, as you saw there. 15 on goal. Six missed the net. Six were blocked. Rick Nash back for the puck. Gets away from the forecheck of Brandon Prost. Nash to Dan Boyle. Boyle against Dan Hanghuse. Pass to Lindbergh. Saved by Miller. Oh, good puck movement by the Rangers. Good chance for Oscar Lindbergh. Yeah, everybody's getting involved, as you just mentioned, Sam. And you got Dan Boyle that just reads his play well. It gives Nash a little out on the other side. Now he's got some time, but he's patient. He waits, and how about the pass to the slot? Mm. Wide open. No one there for Vancouver. And Lindbergh was able to get the shot off quickly, but Miller, who was good in the first period, makes another good save to start this one. Keep in by Yandel, off the end boards to Zuccarello. Hayes fires off the side of the net. Hayes again in the corner. Out to McElrath, who was tipped out of the zone by Sven Berchi. Rangers have tried that a couple of times. Those shots from the goal line, bad angles. Giveaway to Hayes, tried to get it to Broussard. He was taken down by Bo Horvat. No call on the play. Zuccarello's got it. And there's the call on Alex Edler for holding Zuccarello. Penalty upcoming on the Canucks. Lundquist goes to the bench. Rangers get an extra skater on on the delayed penalty. Here comes Zuccarello. All the way across, Nash offside. So the Rangers get a power play at 139 of the second period. Well, and their power play has been good. Yeah, real good, Sam. And this is a similar call to what we saw McDonough get whistled for in the first period. One hand on the stick. Edler. Zuccarello keeps the feet moving, keeps skating. There you see it. One hand on the stick. You wrap it up around the waist, and that's automatic. Alex Edler for holding. And Elaine Vigneault's team 
went two for two in the Ottawa game, and they went from 11th place to fourth place in the league on the power play. And again, as we showed that earlier in the game, they've had the fewest number of power play chances in the league. This is JT Miller, glove save by Ryan Miller. No relation there. No. Boy, that's a good shot, and Ryan Miller actually make, made it look easy. Kreider was in front, but he wasn't quite in front of the eyes of Miller. And so he was able to see the shot by JT Miller and makes the glove save. Canucks trying to gain control. They do, and they clear all the way down. Rangers four for 10 on the power play over the last four games. Eight for 26 on the power play over the last nine. Takeaway by Chris Higgins. Higgins gets around Hayes. Higgins gets around the net and a penalty upcoming. Great play by Chris Higgins. He drew a penalty. The Rangers power play is over. Now I think JT Miller saved a goal, Sam. Higgins was able to get Lundquist out of the net on the other side and tried to wrap around and JT Miller went to the far post and prevented a goal. Hayes with a touch up and the whistle blows. With 109 remaining in the penalty to Alex Edler, a hooking call will even out things on the ice. Uh, Yandel with the turnover here. A little miscommunication. Here comes Higgins with some speed. You see he got, comes well out. And so Miller does a real nice job coming across. Here it comes again. And JT Miller does a good job as Higgins would have had a wide open net on that side. Oscar Lindbergh is called for hooking at 2.30. The team is skating four aside. Eventually the Canucks will wind up with a 51 second man advantage provided there are no other penalties called. Dan Boyle with a puck. Skating four aside. Boyle for Broussard. Broussard and Zuccarello, Stahl and Boyle for the Rangers. McCann and Hansen, the forwards for Vancouver, with Hutton and Tanev. Out left to Zuccarello. No score in the game. Early second period. Mark Stahl takes it deep. Pass was blocked, knocked away, and out of the zone. Recovered by Dan Boyle, and he sends it back to Henrik Lundqvist. Up to Broussard. Now to Stahl. Stahl with Zuccarello. Zuccarello against Barkowski. Here's McDonough looking, shooting just wide. Hit the outside of the net, hit the post, and deflected out of play. Yeah, McDonough coming across. We talked earlier about how McDonough has been able to get shots through, and he just waited for the right moment and just a wrist shot that goes through. I believe it hit the crossbar and deflected out. Some traffic in front. That was Dan Girardi went there, and Girardi actually got a piece of that. A deflection yeah. by Girardi. He deflected that, and then it goes off the crossbar. Wow. Nice job. Girardi can't believe it. Coming that close, just inches away. Canucks will get the man advantage in 12 seconds. Viega for Vancouver. Now Henrik Sedin. Alex Edler is back on power play Vancouver, their second of the game. Up ahead to pass in the skates of Daniel Sedin. Here's Henrik taking it in, leads Verbata. Verbata goes around the net, picked up by Girardi. Pass through to Daniel Sedin. Now Henrik back for Daniel is deflected away by McDonough. Alex Burrows to Verbata. Rodin Verbata shoots, save, Lundquist. Rebound cleared by Nash. 20 seconds to go in the Vancouver power play. Alex Edler around the net, heads up ice. Stoll and McDonough. McElrath and Faust. Backhanded across, pass in front. McDonough there, clears, that's it. Yeah, Daniel Sedin was trying to make a play and just lost control of the puck, and it was an easy clear for the Rangers. Rangers two for two on the penalty kill. Cracknell tries to get around Mark Stahl, who stopped him. No score in the game. Alex Biega, 4.45, gone by here in the second period. And Hughes finds Brandon Prost. 
Off the skate of Cracko, Rangers turn it. Kreider to Nash. Kreider goes in front. That pass goes all the way through. Lindbergh's pass was blocked. And Prust has it. Now Derek Dorsett against Mark Stahl who swept it away. Dorsett again, all the way through. Played by Nash. He was stopped by Cracko. Nash takes it again. Nash with Lindbergh. Nash dumps it in. Rangers change. Chris Tanev drops it back. Alex Edler up the middle. And Yandel trying to clear it out. It's batted out of the zone by Zuccarello. Quick puck movement, but it's stopped by Tanev, who turns it. Brought in by Berchi. Berchi shoots save. Fought off by Lundquist. Oh, he shot that one, didn't he? Hard wrist shot. And Berchi, former Calgary Flame, native of Switzerland. Alex Burrows with a back pass out of the zone. Six minutes gone by in the second. Played in by Edler. Berchi again against Yandel. Double team by Zuccarello. And the fans starting to get into it. The first time we've heard any noise out of this crowd. No score in the game. Plays whistle to a halt. Yeah, Henrik Lundqvist uh, has a problem with the mask. Okay. So they blew that down. He'll make his way to the bench and get that fixed before we go to a break. 6.23 gone by in the second. No score in the game. Sven Berchi, the man who came real close on this one. Yeah, hard rising shot. Catches Lundqvist in the side of the mask. And yeah, that broke the straps. And as soon as that happens, you know, the goaltenders like to get the referee's attention. Lundqvist was able to do that as the puck went down in the other zone. Lundqvist had a chance to get that fixed up. Stoll, Stahlberg, and Glass on for the Rangers. Rangers with only one extra player, and that is Emerson Eater, who is a healthy scratch. Roy Hutton got hurt. He's in the bench now. A hard hit by Tanner Glass. Goldberg tipped it out. Viega's got it. Pressured by Glass. Markowski's pass deflects out of the zone. Played by Dan Boyle. Boyle the stall. Off the boards for Jesper Fast. J.T. Miller taken out of the play by Viega. Daniel Sedin to Alex Viega. Miller on him. Lost. Around to Dominic Moore. Good forecheck pressure by the Rangers. That pass was blocked by Viega. Here's Moore again. That pass tipped out to McDonough for a shot wide. Lively rebound off the end boards. Miller couldn't get to it. As Ben Hutton, who's back on, uh, excuse me, that was Daniel Sedin, made a good play in front. Miller against Viega. Moore hit by Barkowski. And McDonough steps up. Boss keeps it moving to Moore. Miller. And Viega takes over. Chipped out of the zone by Daniel Sedin. Good job of, by the Rangers keeping the puck in the offensive zone with Vancouver's top line on. Kreider down the boards. Slowed down by Barkowski. Prost. Fires out, and Henrik Sedin sends it in. McElrath chips it off the boards for Oscar Lindbergh. Now Rick Nash. Nash against Hamhuis. Here's Yandel, shot blocked and covered with a glove by Ryan Miller. Rangers getting some chances. Vancouver's done a good job blocking shots thus far in the game. Bring the whole family and get this close with the Westchester Knicks. Great seats are available. Tickets starting at $10 are on sale now. Visit WestchesterKnicks.com. Well, we mentioned Tanner Glass. His hit here. There's Hutton. Takes him in. Hutton is really shaken up on that play. I don't know if he just lost the wind. Hard hit, though. Hutton's still on the bench. Yes, Edler and Biega, the defensive pair on now. Brassard's pass was blocked by Cracknell. Around the board, stopped by McDonough. That's knocked down. Zuccarello took a hit. 
Cracknell fires it ahead. Dorset now Prust. On to Edler with a long shot kicked away by Lundquist. Played by Cracknell. Wide. Out to Edler. Winds up. Pass into the middle. Cracknell. He shoots and is blocked by Girardi. He goes down. Gets up slowly. But able to play the puck. Stopped by Prust. Centers. Save. Lundquist on Cracknell. Big chance for Vancouver. Their best of the game. Now this line's had their best chances. Broussard was stopped. A pass blocked by Broussard. Picked up by Zuccarello. Down low. Hayes waits. Tried a behind-the-back shot that was blocked. Sven Berchi dumps it in. And Jarrett Stoll goes to get it. Around for Glass. All the way down it goes. It'll be an icing on the Rangers. 9.33 gone by here in the second period. Well, Dan Girard, as we see there, did a nice job blocking the shot and then has to get back up and try and defend. And again, this is the fourth line. And that was Cracknell, 24. Ooh. He took the first shot that hit Girardi, and then Cracknell had a second chance as well. Gandal for Stahlberg. Ben Hutton is back on the ice. A hit by Bartkowski on Tanner Glass. Glass takes the puck, feeds McElrath. Across to Yandel. On the line, he kept it in toward the net. Save Miller. Rebound knocked away by Miller from Stahlberg. Back pass to Yandel. Feeds Jarrett Stoll. Here's Yandel with room. Winds up. The drive blocked by Bo Horvat sliding across. Last for Stolberg. Now McElrath. His pass taken away by Sven Berchi. Berchi moves down and shoots. That's blocked by McElrath. Yandel takes over. Off the stick of Stolberg. Rangers 21 shots, Canucks 12. No score in the game. Nine and a half minutes to go second period. Shot by McCann was blocked by McElrath, and that hurts. McElrath is limping. He has to stay on the ice trying to skate it off. Puck cleared out by Yandel. Here's McCann moving in. Stopped by Jesper Fast. McElrath falls down. He's having trouble. He's still limping. He's in pain and heads for the bench. In deep, Dominic Moore. Puck batted down. Moore trying to get to it. Taken away by Verbata. He turned it over. Good play by J.T. Miller. Here's Miller. Moving in. Shooting. Saved by Ryan Miller. And a whistle. Penalty called. A slashing call. With 8.48 to go in the second. Sather, who will be honored Friday night in Edmonton by the Oilers for helping make that franchise something special. And I hope you'll join us 8 p.m. New York time. We'll have the ceremonies. They will raise a banner for the rafters in Edmonton with the name Glenn Sather on it. This Rangers power play presented by Volkswagen. Broussard. Now McDonough, Rangers' second power play of the game. A giveaway. Here's a breakaway chance for Bo Horvat. McDonough got back. And Horvat able to play it deep. Higgins picks it up. That deflects out of the zone. Rangers 0 for 1 on the power play in the game. The power play got cut short when they took a penalty on their first one. The outlet to Dan Boyle. Boyle with McDonough, Nash, Zuccarello, and Brassard. Broussard gets to it. Pass by Barkowski was blocked. Viega able to move it up ahead. Out comes Yannick Hansen. Hansen with Burroughs. Big drive goes up in the netting. And the faceoff comes out in center. Hansen saying it was deflected. The linesman said no. It's a direct shot up into the netting. Penalty killing. Penalty killing's been good for Willie. Desjardins team thus far in this game they're talking about that last one let's see if uh, let's see if Yannick Hansen had a case yeah he did
Here's Hayes with a nice move into the offensive zone. Leaves it for Lindbergh. Out to JT Miller. Miller with a setup to Yandel. Shot blocked by Prost. Pass across. Prost slow getting up. He's hurting. Hayes has the puck. Now Yandel again. Prost still in some pain. Staying on the ice. He got the stick out there. Not skating very well. And that's off the stick of Yandel out of the zone. 15 seconds left in the power play. Lindbergh recovers. Prost goes off for Vancouver. Under seven minutes to go in the second. Lindbergh gains the zone. Finds an open man, Mark Stahl. Lindbergh forced back by Tanev. Power play is over. Here's Hayes. He shoots. Save Miller. And the Canucks control, and it's chipped out of the zone by Daniel Sedin, sent back in by Chris Kreider. Rangers 0 for 2 on the power play in the game with only one shot on goal. No score in the game. 6.25 to go in the second. One twist up the boards. Jesper Fast. Picked up by Moore. Moore with glass. Moore checked there by Derek Dorsett. Dorsett all over him. Moore able to work it deep. Fast has it. Fast against Ben Hutton. Behind the net, Moore. Checked there by Barkowski. Plays it for Tanner Glass. His shot stopped by Miller, and he covers up. 5.59 to go, second period. Rangers and Canucks, no score. The upcoming schedule brought to you by Lexus, the official luxury vehicle of the New York Rangers. Friday night at Edmonton, 9.30 game time, but the ceremonies begin at 8 p.m. on Glenn Sather night, big ceremony. Saturday night, 10 p.m. on MSG+. Plus. Rangers at Calgary next Tuesday at home against the Edmonton Oilers. 7 p.m. at Madison Square Garden. All the games on MSG. Preceded one half hour by Visa Rangers game night. You join us especially Friday night 8 p.m. on MSG. Rangers in Edmonton. The special ceremonies honoring Glenn Sather at 8 p.m. Battling along the boards, Jared Stoll. Alex Viega tried to take it away. They continue their battle. Victor Stahlberg works it around the boards for Glass. Glass can't use. Jared Stoll. Puck taken by Horvat off the boards ahead for Burroughs. Good play by Mark Stahl getting back. Dan Boyle leads Kevin Hayes. Hayes against Viega. Around the boards to Zuccarello. Zuccarello stopped by McCann. Takes it back. Gets it to Boyle for a shot blocked in front by Edler. Vancouver's blocked a lot of shots in this game. Hayes to Zuccarello to Yandel. Lost control. Hayes shot it behind. They have gone off McCann. I think it did, Sam. Boy, that was a wide open net. How about that passing by the Rangers? Wow. McCann winds it around the boards to Verbata. Back to McCann, taken away by Yandel. Now it's McElrath lifting it out of the zone off the glove of Verbata. No, no. Brassard to Hayes, back for Brassard. Left it for Zuccarello. Edler puts it in the corner. Hayes there to play it. To McElrath. In deep for Kevin Hayes. Trying to play it in front. Zuccarello with a shot wide. Didn't get it cleanly. Puck sent down the ice will be an icing on the Canucks. 4-11 to go here in the second period. Now continuous pressure by the Rangers. Shots 23-12 at this point in the game. There's one pass, two pass, and you see McCann come across. See again, looks like McCann, they get a piece of it or go off the side of the net. Maybe just off the side of the net, hard to tell. Might have gone off his off skate. Off skate, yeah, yeah. okay. Lindbergh and McCann. So he saves a goal. That's right. Canucks have done a good job blocking shots. They've been alert around the net. Another icing on Vancouver. Yeah, you know, Sam, that's just you've got to when you don't have the puck, boy, you're forced to you're forced to block shots and make defensive plays. And that's what that's what they're trying to do. Here it is again. That chance, yeah, just off the back of the skate. 
McCann was facing the other way, he had no idea. I think he just guessed as to where it was, and it was a good guess. Lindbergh and McCann for the faceoff. Lindbergh out, Kreider in for the faceoff. Good play by Kreider. Handle to Nash, his pass blocked out of the zone by Verbata. Nash goes to get it. Has trouble with it. It's help from Yandel. Boyle plays it in the Vancouver zone, just wide of the net, turns into an icing on the Rangers. 3.45 to go in the second period. Saturday night on MSG. This is a do not miss on Frank Sinatra's 100th birthday. Celebrate a century of Sinatra with a special presentation of his legendary concert at Madison Square Garden. The main event, Saturday night at 8 on MSG Network. If you're a Sinatra fan, if you're a music fan, that's one you don't want to miss. Long shot by Hutton that was blocked by Nash. Yandel plays it. Pass off the skate, comes out to Kreider, leads Lindbergh. Deep into the Vancouver zone, Ben Hutton there to play it. Henrik Sedin's pass was off the skate of Kreider. Hutton, the outlet to Yannick Hansen. Dominic Moore checking him. Girardi, three in the middle of things. Girardi try to move it. Moore is there. Rangers come out. McDonough to Miller with Moore in the middle. Miller checked by Biega. Moore against Barkowski. Miller is there up the boards to Girardi. To Miller. Winds to Moore. Try to chip it in front, hit the back of the net. Alex Biega. And Daniel Sedin couldn't clear. Yannick Hansen does. And McDonough takes it back. Once again, a shift in which the Sedins were pinned in their own zone. Up ahead. McDonough goes to get it. Brandon Fust on him. Wraps him up. Adam Cracknell. Out to Hamhuis, saved by Lundqvist, pokes the rebound away. Good shot by Hamhuis and another one. Lundqvist had to make a good save. Hamhuis almost looked like he wanted a third try. Bump on Hutton along the boards by Glass. Hutton again, pass, that was a pass looking for Cracknell. Would have had a wide open net. Back pass to Hutton. Now pressure by the Canucks, blocked. Good block by Jared Stoll, can't clear. Sam yeah. used to keep in, Rangers come out. Yeah, it's been that fourth line again for Vancouver that's creating those chances. And there's a, pe a penalty coming up against Vancouver. Yeah, the stick was taken out of the hands of Tanner Glass. Rangers get an extra skater on on the delayed penalty. Kevin Hayes leads Derek Broussard. Broussard carries into Zuccarello. Pass across intercepted, the whistle stops play, a minute 31 to go in the second period and the Rangers get their third power play of the game and Willie Desjardins doesn't like it. Now Dan Hamuse had a hold of the stick so he's the one that goes to the penalty box. And you'll see the play right there is well yeah, there's no question he had a hold of the stick and Tanner Glass did the right thing he just let go tried to get back would have been a two on one for the Rangers had Glass been able to get back in the play. Holding the stick at 18-29. Rangers third power play. Broussard wins the draw. But it's chipped out of the zone. Zuccarello. Nash and Broussard. Boyle and McDonough for the power play. Which is 0 for 2 in the game. Pass through for Broussard. Too far. Cleared out by Tanev. Higgins looking for it. Horvat looking for it. Back the other way. Zuccarello. Zuccarello with Nash. Pass to Broussard. That goes off the skate of Alex Edler. McDonough's got it. Now Boyle. Ahead Broussard. Under a minute to go in the second period. No score in the game. Zuccarello to Broussard. Off his stick. Cleared by Horvath. Rangers are going to have to get more shots. They, they have time in the offensive zone, both on the power play and at even strength. And sometimes when they have too much time, they try to make that perfect play. Sometimes it's better just get more players to the front of the net in front of Miller who's been real sharp in this game. 
McDonough cross leads Kreider. Kreider in deep against Viega. Around the boards, nobody at the point. Yandel had come to the other side. He hustles back to get the puck away from Yannick Hansen. JT Miller's got it, 20 seconds in the period. Pass deflected, batted ahead, nice play by Yandel, but it's taken back. Clearing attempt, stopped by Miller. 10 seconds in the period, a pass deflected away. Played along the boards by Kreider. Final seconds of the period. No time to shoot. Yandel gets one off. It's deflected in, but does not count. The period had ended. The green light had gone on. And 29 seconds remaining in the power play will carry over into the third period. JT Miller lingering, wanting to look at a replay on the board. Well, yeah, that's what they're gonna have to do against Miller. Miller does a, JT Miller does a good job getting to the front of the net. And then that little deflection, Miller hasn't had to deal with many of those in the first two periods, even though he's been very strong. There you see the clock is down to zeros before the puck crosses the goal line. So it is still no score. End of two periods as the Rangers head off. Coming up, the New York Lottery Intermission Report. Mark Stahl will be John Ginone's special guest. Bill Pito has the Audi MSG 150, including the Boston Bruins win in Montreal tonight. Ron Duque and Anson Carter will have analysis and highlights coming up. It's all coming up on the New York Lottery Intermission Report. Rangers and Canucks, no score, end of two. We are back in Vancouver, getting set for the third period. Rangers in Vancouver, Canucks. New York Rangers hockey on MSG is presented by Chase. Let's check in with John Giannone. He's got the coaches update, John. What's yes, happening? I talked to uh, Ulf Samuelson, and he basically said that, you know what, we've been really good with our puck management in the defensive zone, in the neutral zone as well. But his exact words, he said, we've been a little stale and could be a little hungrier in the offensive zone. And he said, basically said that, you know, they're competing hard, he said, but we're going to need a little more hunger from everyone to start this three-game road trip on a strong note. When I said any adjustments offensively that you could make to try to create a goal, he said they, meaning the Canucks, are collapsing pretty low in the defensive zone. So he said maybe we could try to drive down on one end of the zone along the boards and then get the defenseman to fill that gap that gets created there and create opportunities that way. He said, but it's going to be subtle because their defense is playing very well and very disciplined through two periods, guys. All right. Thanks, Thanks John. Yeah, I think they're overpassing in the offensive zone. Again, sometimes you have enough time or too much time. And sometimes just to snap the puck at the net, get players going there. And it looks like the only way you're going to beat Ryan Miller tonight. Third period begins. Rangers with a man advantage for another 20 seconds. McDonough with Boyle, Broussard, Zuccarello, and Nash. Here's Broussard. Fires off the skate of Alex Edler. Played by Chris Higgins. Now Chris Tanev. And he clears. That'll do it. Rangers now 0 for 3 on the power play in the game. No score. Opening minute, third period. Boyle to Zuccarello. Teams at full strength. Broussard. Back pass off the stick. Boyle finds it and shoots it off the left pad of Ryan Miller. Boy, that shot just missed Zuccarello as he went down to the ice. Boyle fires across. He was looking for Nash. Nash was heading for the bench. And it turns into an icing on the Rangers. 49 seconds in for the third period. Rangers trying to build something after the win over Ottawa. Take a look at that shot you were talking yeah, about, Joe. Well, Zuccarello in front right here. He'll get knocked down. Watch his puck. Just past him. Oof. Is that scary? Get your head down. Henrik Sedin and Broussard on the faceoff. McDonough away with the puck. Clears it out. Down the ice it goes. It's on goal. Hughes, quick pass. Daniel Sedin. Missed wide. Neither Sedin brother with a shot on goal thus far in the game. Henrik Sedin with a puck. Daniel has got over 100 shots on goal this season. They haven't had the puck in the offensive zone, Sam. You mentioned it a couple of times where the Rangers have been able to keep them in the defensive zone. And uh, penalty coming up against the Rangers. And the Rangers. Ryan Miller's gone to the bench. Extra skater on. 
McElrath touches up. Power play Vancouver. A hooking call. Yeah, and this time the Sedins have the puck in the offensive zone. Dominic Moore ends up taking the penalty. They draw an awful lot of penalties because they mm. just hold on to the puck and they hold it and hold it and hold it. So patient. And there's Dominic Moore. There's the stick. Gets it up, gives him a little tug right there. Enough of a tug for the call. Third power play of the game for Vancouver. This is a big point in the game. Face off win Henrik Sedin. Cut by Vermont, blocked by Stolberg. Good play. Stolberg and Stoll, Girardi and McDonough for the Rangers. Henrik Sedin looking. Pass all the way through. Edler's got it. Round the boards to Henrik Sedin. Alex Burrow is set up in front. Out to Verbata, back to Henrik Sedin. Pass across, missed by Edler. Edler's got it back. Alex Edler holding behind the net, Burrows. Henrik Sedin to Verbata, down to Edler. Edler turns, left the puck behind him. Waits, feeds Burrows. Henrik Sedin to Verbata, shot saved by Lundqvist. Back behind the net, Henrik Sedin to the side of the net. Daniels got it. He's got some room, feeds Henrik. Henrik looking out to Edler. Edler shoots, save Lundqvist. Burrows. Long time in the Ranger zone for the Canucks. Here's Verbata. Now Edler. Long shot, saved by Lundqvist. Three shots on goal. That's missed by Daniel Sedin. On a hard pass from Henrik. On top of the puck is Jared Stoll. He's rolling with it. And finally, the whistle blows. Yeah, they're giving him a penalty. Oh, boy. I wonder if they thought Jared Stoll put his hand over the puck. It was difficult to tell from this angle. Delay of game. He stayed down on the ice. The Canuck, the, and you see Elaine Vigneault. Now, wondering what's he why. supposed to do? Well, you know, if he didn't, if he put his hand over the puck, okay, that would be, that's a penalty. But if he didn't, he can, he can stay on top of the puck. If it's underneath him, let's see what happens here. He kind of closed he everything stays up. There. No, he didn't but, put his hand over the puck. Uh, I don't uh, understand that call. And I don't understand the call. I think I think Elaine Vino has a good argument. Well, the call made the Rangers two men short for 36 seconds. 2:57, the time of the penalty to Jarrett Stoll. Five on three for Vancouver. Henrik Sedin and Jesper Fast out to Alex Edler. Daniel Sedin down to Henrik. Out to Edler. Down to Henrik, pass blocked by Girardi. Burrows to Edler, to Daniel Sedin. To Henrik. Henrik looking, to Daniel, to Edler. Scores! Well, there you see. Yeah, you see. Elaine, Elaine you know what? I don't blame him. I don't blame him. But this is this is beautiful puck movement by the Canucks and of course Henrik Sedin, Daniel Sedin, and then Edler with the shot. And I believe Elaine Vigneault may have gotten a penalty for his uh, comments to the referee. Because Chris Kreider has gone to the penalty box to join Jared Stoll, and the Rangers will be down two men for a minute 38. The Rangers have five skaters on, but uh, the guys have got to get off. So the Canucks have scored first on a power play goal by Alex Edler on a five on three. And Elaine Vigneault has been with his comments to the referee. Yeah, again, I don't, I don't blame him. I really don't. I don't blame him. That, that in a game like this, again, Jared Stoll did not put his hand over the puck. 
If he does that, if he puts his hand over the puck with the glove, it's, it's an automatic penalty. And there's no argument. He was down on the ice. They were digging away at it. Now again, a five on three and a long one. Minute 25 to go in the two man advantage. Daniel Sedin down low for Bada. Carl is shot blocked by McDonough. Wow. Cleared by Esper Foss. What a play. Again, excellent puck movement by the Canucks. There is Henrik Sedin leaving it for Verbata. Now to Edler. Daniel Sedin down low. Henrik Burroughs is down in the crease. He got hit. And a penalty is called. They call it on Lundquist. It might have been, it might have been on Lundquist. Even though McDonough was there, but I think I think Lundquist or McDonough now is heading oh is boy. heading to the penalty box. Boy, oh boy, is this game turned? Yes, it has. No, he got he got him with the cross check. It's a penalty. Yes, uh, that, there's oh, no yeah. question about the call. Wow. Yeah, that's a high hit. So the Rangers, the Rangers kind of losing their cool here in the third period of a, of a game in which, you know, they, the only thing they didn't dominate through two periods was the scoreboard. The penalty that was announced to give Vancouver a two-man advantage was Kreider for unsportsmanlike conduct. So maybe it was Kreider that said something on the bench. And now McDonough. And now we're told he's just serving the penalty. Five on three. Down low, it's Henrik Sedin. Pass was blocked by Girardi. Rangers have Girardi, Fast, and Dominic Moore. And the McDonough penalty will not begin until the penalty to Jarrett Stoll ends. Here's Henrik Sedin. Pass for Burroughs, shut off the post by Verbata and covered by Lundquist. 22 seconds to go in the stole penalty. When that ends, the penalty to Ryan McDonough will begin. Yeah, Henrik Sedin again with the pass from the other side. Boy, his ability to lift the puck over sticks. There it is again. He's got it, lifts it over sticks. Uh, Lundquist got a piece of it, it looked like with the blocker glove. Beautiful pass from Henrik Sedin and Verbata, who's coming off his last game with a hat trick. What a chance that was. Dominic Moore is on with Jesper Faust and Mark Stahl. Canucks control. Here's Henrik Sedin. Pass for Verbati. Missed it. Penalty call. Burroughs for interference. Burroughs interfered with Mark Stahl. And it was the right call. Burroughs. As Stahl, Stahl was trying to go around Burroughs. And Burroughs just kept staying in front of him getting in his way so he couldn't defend. See Mark Stahl, 18 in the white, and then Burroughs right next to him. Now watch what Burroughs does. Follows him, follows him, follows him, and doesn't allow him to get over and to be able to defend. There's 14 seconds to go in the Jarrett Stoll penalty. 37 seconds to go in the penalty being served by Chris Kreider. And then when the stole penalty is over, McDonough's penalty will begin. The penalty time. Face-off win by Dominic Moore. Four on three advantage now for Vancouver. Chris Tanev back to Ben Hutton. The stole penalty is over. It's a two-man advantage. It's still a four on three. Excuse me, Rangers down for two men for another 15 seconds. Chris Kreider will be back on. It'll be a four on four. Rangers clear all the way down. And the Vancouver power play is over. So the Rangers survived. They're only down one. Here's Nash, Lindbergh, Stoll. Here's Daniel Sedin. And it's clear that Jared stole big block of the shot about 10 feet in front of Lundquist. McDonough's got a minute 15 to go in his penalty. Girardi puts it in the corner. The teams are skating four aside here. 
Vancouver will wind up with a man advantage briefly for 14 seconds when the penalty to Burroughs is over. That will end before the McDonough penalty ends. A lot going on with a lot of penalties being called. Zuccarello, four on four here. Rangers down one nothing. Off the bench, Dan Boyle. Moves in against Dan Hamhughes. Fires, just missed by Stahl. Mark Stahl was in deep. That long shot stopped by Ryan Miller. Broussard took the shot. Hughes pass blocked and Boyle takes over 635 gone by in the third period Burroughs is back on and it's a Vancouver power play Hayes takes it deep into the Vancouver zone McDonough will return in five seconds and all the penalties will be over and the teams are back at full strength on the ice. So with all that time, Rangers down two men. You know what, they, they, they got survived. No, they did. Kept it a one goal game. Pass across. Edler in. High shot. Lundquist may have got a piece of it. Bo Horvat against McDonough. 720 gone by in the third. Rangers trailing one to nothing. The five-on-three goal by Alex Edler. Shot by Corbata, saved by Lundquist. The Sedin twins each got an assist on the goal by Alex Edler. A five-on-three power play goal. In front, Yandel sweeps it out. Fired back in by Hutton. Now Yandel. One thing that has happened this season to Vancouver as they have blown third period leads. A team that struggled, they've lost several games in overtime. There's a lead for Derek Dorsett. Dorsett cuts in against McElrath who got a piece of him. Now Cracknell will pass off the skate of JT Miller. Played by Dorsett against Stahl. Broussard tries to move it. Miller, JT, out for Derek Broussard with Zuccarello. Drop to Miller. His shot blocked by Viega. Miller has it back out to Girardi. Across to McDonough, winds up, big drive. Glove saved by Ryan Miller with Zuccarello in front. Pushing with Alex Viega, and Broussard steps in. 11-16 to go in the third. Rangers down, 1-0. To answer the Cadillac trivia question, Henrik and Daniel Sedin are one of three sets of Swedish-born twins to be drafted and play in the NHL or the other two. The Sundstroms, Patrick and Peter. How about the Lundquists? Ooh, that's correct. How about that? Well done. There you go. Henrik and Joel. Joel was the Dallas draft pick. All right. Good question, good answers. Now, Rangers have to find an answer for Elaine Vigneault. Yeah, most of this third period has been in the Rangers' zone with all the penalties. they got to get back to work now. Rick Nash plays it in front of him. blocked by Tanev, got through. It was loose at the post. Wow. And the dive is on, and, and a penalty shot's being called. Yeah. Penalty shot for the Rangers. They're claiming that Tanev... I think he pointed at Tanev. He did. For covering the puck. Oh, and then Henrik Sedin went and made contact with the referee as well. I don't know how that puck was staying out because the initial save was made by the left toe, and you'll see the puck right by the post. There it is. Now it stays there. Rangers get there. Tanev is there. Where's the puck? Does he have his... There's the puck there. The they're saying, they're, I guess they're saying Tanev had his glove over the puck. Didn't see it on that replay. Everyone's looking up at the scoreboard for a replay. Comes again. Nash just trying to get it there. There's the puck. Nash goes in. Tanev 
Boy, they've got bodies laying on top of them. Dan Boyle is going to take the penalty shot. The coach has the option of choosing anyone on the ice. He chooses Dan Boyle. We've seen Boyle make some good moves. Here he comes on the penalty shot against Ryan Miller. Dan Boyle fakes, scores! And the game is tied, 1-1. One, one. You know, he lost the puck about 40 feet from the goaltender. He had to regain control, and Miller thought he had him. And somehow he slipped it under him. But he kind of loses it, and then Miller is right there, but the patience of Dan Boyle. There you see him lose it, yeah. gain control again, and then he just stayed with it to get past Miller and just got it by the skate and inside the post to tie the game. First goal of the season for Dan Boyle. And the Rangers have tied the game with 11.06 to go. 8.54 is the time of the penalty shot goal by Dan Boyle. And here come the Canucks. Yannick Hansen, Nash with a good defensive play. Long shot saved by Lutz. Lundqvist on the Edler shot, a left skate save. Here's Henrik Sedin to Daniel. Daniel trying to play it in front. Lundqvist got a piece of it. It popped off the top of the net around the Rick Nash. This third period has had everything. I mean, <laughs> it's just been crazy. Edler deflection of goal. Daniel Sedin. Deflection that was, and the Canucks regain the lead. You know, the Rangers weren't able to clear the zone, and the puck was on the boards. McDonough is there, Nash is over trying to clear it. He gets pressure right away, and the Canucks regain control. This is an unbelievable deflection. What hands by Daniel Sedin. Not much room from that angle, and he just turns the blade of the stick and redirects it, and that quickly, Vancouver comes right back after the Dan Boyle goal. Now the referee has gone over the Rangers bench and uh, having see a discussion it with Elaine Vigneault and Scott Arneal. Well, let's see. Is it an interference okay. on the goaltender? A challenge by referee Elaine Vigno. There you see the both coaches have the computer, the iPad on the bench. Jerry Deneen, of course, their outstanding video coordinator, is in the locker room watching all of this as well. So he probably alerted the coaches on the bench. Let's see what happens. Hansen, there was contact. Hansen was backing into Lundquist. Let's see, Lundquist still in the blue. And there's the, there's the contact with with Lundquist still in the in the blue. It wasn't much, but there was contact. And again, the important thing is that Lundqvist was still in the blue paint in the crease. Now this is the referee's call here. He is looking at the replay. The referee number 29 is the senior referee of the pair. That's Ian Walsh. And both referees will discuss it. Let's see it again. Contact. That right the skate. Stick. The well, right skate of Hansen made contact with Lundquist's left skate. And the stick afterwards. See it again. Some contact and then the, the stick of Hansen catches the pad and here's the answer. After review, there is no interference. This is a good goal. <laughs> The Rangers use their challenge and do not have any timeouts remaining. Daniel Sedin gets his 13th from Edler and Henrik Sedin. 
So after the Rangers did a wonderful job shutting down the Sedin Twins in the first two periods, they have come up with a goal and a couple of assists. A deflection by Jared Stoll, a save by Miller. And Jared Stoll went flying into the net. 10-17 to go here in the third period. Canucks have the lead 2-1. to one. All right, The Rangers come right back. Their fourth line. Keep it in. That little deflection to the net. And Miller gets over there as Jared Stoll was heading to the net trying to find a loose puck. Broussard, Hayes, and Zuccarello on. The puck loose in the circle. Viega up the boards. Sven Berchi after it. Dan Boyle stopped by Horvath. Hayes trying to gain control. Taken back by Berchi. Amhuse winds it around the boards to Horvath. Horvath against Yandel. That shot stopped by Lundquist. Zuccarello with Berchi all over him. The pass for Yandel is by him, played by Viega. 9.35 to go in the third. Frost sends it in. Mark Stahl reverses to Dylan McElrath. Frost. That'll be an icing on the Rangers. 9.17 to go here in the third. Join the Rangers 22nd annual Toys for Tot toy drive presented in part by Lexus. Now through December 20th, bring an unwrapped toy to a tri-state area Lexus dealership and help brighten the child's holiday season. For more information, visit NewYorkRangers.com. Face-off win by Adam Cracknell. The puck taken away by Faust. Crust playing it across. McElrath trying to move it. It was blocked. Dorset gave it up to Dominic Moore. Moore forced back by Crust. Stall for Fast. Nice little touch pass to Dominic Moore. Moore takes it in against Hutton. One-handed shot save and the rebound went wide. Good effort by Dominic Moore. Derek Dorset the other way. With Brandon Frost. Frost against McDonough. McElrath fries it loose. Eight and a half minutes to go in the third. Alex Edler clears it out. McDonough to Lindbergh. And the puck turned over to Tanev. And here's Edler. Edler's had a good game for Vancouver. Lundquist stops it. Girardi swings it around to Rick Nash. Now it's Vancouver doing a good job in the neutral zone against the Rangers. McCann in deep. Chance for Higgins saved by Lundquist. Cleared from in front by Kreider, but given back to Vancouver. Long shot went wide. Nash has it. Out for Kreider off his stick. Ryan Miller waits for it. Amhuse, 7.40 to go, a giveaway to Broussard. Sets a boil, save, rebound, right through the crease, and the net gets knocked off. And it looks like a penalty coming up against Vancouver. Oh, boy, we've got a bad injury, too. Oh, yeah. Ham Hamuse, Hamuse, I, I think, got a skate. Oh, boy. Oh. They're, trying, they're trying to get him off the ice. There is all kinds of all kinds of blood. Man, and Hayes had a wide open net off the side. Dan Hamhuse being helped to the locker room. 7:33 to go in the third. We'll be right back. Yeah, the Canucks up by a goal here in the third period, and the Rangers nearly tied it. Dan Hamhuse has the puck here and just loses it twice, and then. He'll get hit with the puck. I thought it was a skate. Oh. There's the shot right off the side of the face. What a chance. Hayes had a wide open net. He couldn't control it. And Burroughs knocks the net intentionally 
off the pegs, and Burroughs gets penalized, and the Rangers with a power play with 7.33 to go here in the third period. Burroughs delay of game at 12.27. Rangers with their fourth power play of the game. They're 0 for 3. Took a long time to scrape the ice. Hamuse was bleeding profusely. Yeah. And it took them a long time to get all the blood off the ice. The Rangers opportunity here. Boy, what a chance for Hayes and wide open wow. net. Just couldn't control the puck. And Broussard just missed getting and to the Broussard, rebound. Right. Nash, Broussard, Zuccarello, Boyle, and McDonough for the power play. Rangers down two to one. They've had only one shot on three power play chances. McDonough. Zuccarello, good pass through to Boyle. That was a pass that was blocked, loose puck. After Miller stopped it with a left pad, McDonough fakes. Shot by Boyle off the post. Oh, he just missed with a rocket of a shot. Down low to Broussard. Try to get it to Zuccarello. Higgins broke it up. And it's cleared by Horvat. Lundquist settles it down for McDonough. Seven minutes to go in the third. Rangers down two to one. Broussard. Round the boards for Boyle. And it's cleared by Daniel Sedin. McDonough back for it. A minute 10 to go in the power play. McDonough heads up ice. Yandel is on. Lindbergh is on. Hayes. Kreider offside. Kreider tried to hold the blue line. He left the line too soon. Experience Rangers hockey in a suite at Madison Square Garden this season. Whether you're entertaining clients or hosting potential new ones, there's no better place than a suite to view the action. Call 212-465-6771 or visit NewYorkRangers.com. 6.35 to go in the third. A minute to go in the Rangers power play. Yandel, Miller, Lindbergh, Hayes, and Kreider on for the Rangers. Lead to Miller. JT Miller in. Checked by Tanner. Yandel to Miller. In front is Kreider. Hayes to Yandel to Miller. Moves in. Shot blocked. He broke his stick. And the Canucks clear. Lundquist leaves it for Yandel. Six minutes to go in the third. 25 seconds to go in the power play. Miller's pass broken up by Barkowski. Yandel fires down low. Saved by Miller. By Ryan Miller. Hayes was hooked on the play by Cracknell, but no call. Yandel for Kreider. Burroughs set to return. Teams are back at full strength. Kreider races in. Checked by Hutton. He shoots off the glove of Ryan Miller. 2-1 to the, one Vancouver. Yeah, then the puck bounce right past Broussard. Henrik Sedin. Pass back. Barkowski missed his shot. Rangers come out. Zuccarello tries to lead Nash. Barkowski got a piece of it. Rangers are offside. 5-14 to go. Third period. 2-1 to one Vancouver leading. Here's the go-ahead goal from our Volvo Telestrator. Right here is Daniel Sedin. He'll start the play, and the Rangers at this point, Nash can't clear it on the boards, and all kinds of traffic. We stop it here. The Rangers still have plenty of support down here, but as we'll see, Lindbergh will come, number 24. He goes to the slot. Nobody picks up Daniel Sedin from the other side. That's just a brilliant redirection yeah. of the shot. Word from the Vancouver locker room is Dan Hamhuis has been taken to a local hospital after being hit with that shot side of the head. Only wish him well. Yeah, that's for sure. Hate to see that. Girardi pass ahead tipped in by Broussard. Oh, he got hit with a high stick from yeah. by Henrik Sedin. Went unnoticed. Edler lifts it on the backhand. Down the ice, it'll be an icing on Vancouver. 4.47 to go, third period. Broussard on the redirection was trying to get 
inside the zone. Here's a look here, and there's. Did he make contact? He had the stick up in that area. No call, and the Rangers get five fresh players on the ice after the Vancouver icing. Moore, Fast, JT Miller, Yandel, and McDonough. Rangers won the draw, but it's back in their own zone. McDonough back for it. Faced by Daniel Sedin. Miller's pass. Giveaway to Burrows. And a shot save. Horvat with the shot. Good save by Lundquist. That one deflects to the corner. Daniel Sedin to Horvat. Barkowski shot blocked. Alex Burrows winds it around the boards. Started with a face-off win. It's turned into a big offensive chance for the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Henrik Sedin won the face-off. They clear the zone. They get fresh players on the ice. Vancouver does. And they'll try to lead Fost. And this will be an icing. Icing on the Rangers oh, with 404 to go. We have seen everything here in the third. Join the holiday fun at Westchester County's Winter Wonderland, featuring the Rangers Town Rink. Enjoy alumni appearances and family activities. Open every weekend through January 3rd. Visit NewYorkRangers.com for more information. 404 to go. Rangers down two to one. Jared Stoll and Adam Cracknell. And Trust winds it behind the net to Cracknell. Off the board, Tanev with a shot wide. Chipped out for Jared Stoll. Here's Yandel, lost control. Edler got a piece of it. Kreider's in deep, checked there by Tanev. Lindbergh is after it. And the puck cleared out by Cracknell. Dorset after it against Mark Stahl. Three and a half minutes to go. Vancouver scored on a five on three power play. Alex Edler got the goal. Rangers tied it on a penalty shot goal by Dan Boyle. And Vancouver answered right back with a deflection by Daniel Sedin to make it two to one. Dan Boyle's in deep. Canucks take it away. Verbata feeding Chris Higgins. After the puck, Jared McCann, number 91. Kreider got a piece. That pass off the stick of Kreider. Chased down by Verbata. Adler was about to step in with a big slap shot, and Verbata picked up the loose puck. Fans reacted. Here comes Adler. This time a wrist shot and a stick saved by Lundquist. They got the Rangers in a change. Kept in deep by Yannick Hansen. Fires in its block. Good play by Dan Girardi. Two and a half minutes to go. Long pass in the skates of Brassard. Chris Tanev for Vancouver. Henrik Sedin's pass. Cleared out by Yannick Hansen. All the way down. Girardi's got it. 2-10 to go. Rangers down 2-1. to one. Zuccarello lifts it in. Markowski, double team. Broussard got a piece. Diego comes away with it off the boards. Pass Girardi, Burrows after it. McDonough's there. Burrows ridden to the boards by McDonough. Zuccarello poking at it. Minute 45 to go. McDonough trying to move it. Burrows keeps it alive, doing a great job killing time. Now it's Sven Berchi. Back behind the net, Lundquist leaves it for Kreider. Gives it away to Burrows. Burrows checked by Girardi. A minute 25 to go. Time running out on the Rangers. And the Canucks maintaining possession in the Rangers zone. Bo Horvat checked by McDonough. Lindbergh trying to take it away. Here's Berchi coming in front. Saved by Lundquist. Oh, he robbed Eric Dorsett with a great save. A minute five to go. McDonough holding the cheers for the Canucks with a minute to go. Ryder weaves his way in. Couldn't get a shot off. Loose puck. Edler tried to move it. Nash with a takeaway. Rangers net is empty. Six skaters on. Fired across. Dorsett picks it up. 
Dorsett against Yandel. Yandel got a piece of it, and it's whistled down. Is there an offside? Offside, I believe. After the game, stay with us. Oh, man. We've got complete post-game coverage coming your way. Anchored in New York by Bill Pito, Ron Duguay, and Anson Carter. John Giannone will work the locker room. We'll hear from a head coach, Elaine Vigno. Joe McCalletti and Dave Maloney have their analysis here in Vancouver. Stay with us for Mercedes-Benz Rangers post-game. Immediately following the game, Henrik Lundqvist back in goal. Rangers don't have a timeout. They used it up on the coach's challenge on the Vancouver second goal. Boyle. Lundqvist heads for the bench. 30 seconds to go. Boyle shoots in. It was and it hit Henrik Sedin. Fired to the empty net wide by Edler. He took a chance. It's an icing. 21.3 seconds to go, and the face-off deep in the Vancouver zone. Well, that's a that's a big chance with the face-off now coming all the way back into Vancouver zone. Face-off is key. Brassard, Zuccarello, Kreider, Nash, Boyle, and Yandel. 21.3 seconds remaining. It's Daniel Brassard. Then Derek Broussard against Henrik Sedin. And Broussard wins it. Yandel shoots it and it's blocked by Yannick Hansen. What a block. Yandel's got it back. Pass ahead for Nash. Off his stick. Tanev sends it down the ice. Rangers going to run out of time. Yandel. That's it. Canucks win it. Two to one. Scoreless game through two periods. Ryan Miller comes up with a great effort, making 32 saves. And for Elaine Vigneault, a tough loss. I just think, Sam, this is going to be one game where the Rangers and Elaine Vigneault just probably feel like they, they let this one slip away. First two periods, they controlled the majority of the play. But that man right there, Ryan Miller, was the difference in the game. He kept his team in it early and so this game was scoreless going into the third period penalties changed all that and it gave vancouver an opportunity on the five on three and then they found a quick response after the rangers scored and then the rangers just couldn't get one past miller to tie it ryan miller now two wins in a row he's four two and one in his last seven after he went through a stretch of six games without a win. Vancouver spoils the Rangers' start on this road trip with a 2-1 win over the Rangers. We'll be right back.